Hey everybody, so today I am here to give you guys a breast pump comparison between the LV Stride and the Willow Go. So I recently reviewed the Willow Go, and by the time you're seeing this, there will already be a how-to video up as well with it. I also have a review and a how to use with the LV Stride as well. So individually, both of those pumps are covered, but I did want to compare them. I do feel like they are very comparable as far as what they're trying to offer and what the pumps themselves are all supposed to be about. So I think by now most of us know LV and Willow are the big names in wearable tubeless cordless pumps. So they both have versions that are fully tubeless, fully cordless. That way you can just insert the pumps into your bra and wear them and that's how you pump. You don't have to be plugged into a wall. They collect your milk right there so there's no bags or bottles or anything like that. So that's how both of those brands typically operate. But recently they have both came out with pumps that are meant to be a little bit more budget friendly, maybe to be covered by insurances more easily. And I do know that some insurances definitely do cover the cost, if not at least a portion of the cost for the LV and the Willow pumps. It seems to me like these pumps are meant to be more like lighter versions with a little less features. That way you have a bit of a price decrease. So I'm going to go over both of them. I've already, like I said, individually reviewed them. So I'm going to fly through these review points and get to my thoughts and opinions at the end and my recommendation pretty quickly. For the rest of the review, I'm going to be referring to them as Willow and LV, even though I'm talking about the Willow Go and the LV Stride, just to save on time and from me having to repeat it constantly. So these are all going to be the same points that I usually have with breast pump reviews. The first one being price. The Willow costs $330. The LV is $270. Now, both of these, you can find coupons. You can make them less, but retail, that's what they typically are full price at major retailers. Number two is function and ease of use. Both of these are not really complicated. They're both pretty straightforward. They have increase and decrease buttons on them. They both offer stimulation and expression. So they're both fairly easy to figure out how to use and they both have really good starter guides as well and user manuals. So I don't feel like they're over complicated to get the hang of. And also the LV is able to be controlled via app. So there's also that as well. Number three is reviews. And as far as major retailers across the board, they both have around four stars, maybe a little bit over, but rounding to four. And I will say that word of mouth reviews have not been great in my opinion for the Willow Go. I honestly haven't heard very many word of mouth reviews for the LV Stride. I've heard a couple and they have been good, but I've heard far more opinions about using the Willow Go and not liking it. So as far as what's online around four stars, what I've heard myself being in the pumping community, I've heard less optimistic things about the Willow Go. Number four is portability and power options. Like I said, both of these are wearable pumps. So they both are meant to be worn inside of your tank top, your bra, whatever you may be wearing up top, and it is meant to sit in there. So both of these pumps are cordless. However, the Willow is also completely tubeless. So everything is right here in the pump itself. With the LV, it has the motor and then the tubes to go to the collection cups. So the LV does have tubes, the Willow does not. You can't use either of these pumps while they are charging, just so you know. Also, the Willow only has about around one hour worth of charge, and then the LV has about two and a half hours. Number five is accessibility to replacement and spare parts. Both of these being newer, it's no surprise, it's mostly online. As they roll out, I would expect for more and more stores to carry it in store, but I mean, they're also on Amazon pretty readily available right now. Number six is customer service. I have not had a problem with either of them. The next review point is durability. Now, both of these pumps, I don't love the lifespans on them. I've talked about this before. I'll make it quick. Lifespans do not automatically mean that your pump will stop working at that point. It is normally just a number that pump manufacturers try to stick on a pump that way they can get approval from the FDA when they are trying to bring their pump to market. I understand all of this. However, like I've said before, it is a vote with the consumers. There are much smaller pump companies that go much higher with their lifespans. So this is something that should be 
easily attainable for these big brands. However, getting to the point, LV has a 500 hour lifespan and the Willow is roughly around 270 hours. So the LV gives a blanket 500 hours of use. However, the Willow says that it's intended for three 15 minute sessions per day for one year. Are either of these numbers appealing to me as an exclusive pumper? Absolutely not. I wish that they were much higher. I think I've made that point pretty clear. But as far as durability, I actually used the LV Stride in my pumping journey and I quite liked it. I felt like it kept up with me fine. I think it is also a good sign when they give more of an hour lifespan opposed to breaking it down per session by the minutes, by the day, stuff like that. I also don't like when companies just put a label on how long a pump session should be because that does not always fit everybody. But obviously LV does win in this department because it is almost double what Willow's is. Number eight is noise level. And I will say that both of these are pretty quiet in my opinion. I feel like whenever you're pumping in a room that has even just a little bit of noise, it's not going to be the first thing it first thing that you hear is what I'm trying to say. Number nine is closed or open system. Both of these are closed system, which means that they have mechanisms to make it so milk will not make it back to the motor itself. And then number 10 is the fact that they both offer stimulation along with expression. So stimulation is going to stimulate the milk, get it flowing, and then expression will empty most of the milk inside of your breast. So that is everything for the typical review points. As far as bonus goes, both of these pumps do offer apps. However, with the LV, you can also control the pump itself. However, on the Willow, you're not able to do that. Now, I'm not saying that it's not useful. I just don't think it's a fair comparison because with the LV app, you can do more. And even though I mentioned it before, I do think it's worth mentioning again, the fact that they are a little bit different design-wise. The Willow is tubeless. You know, everything is just right there in the cups that you are going to wear inside of your bra, tank top, whatever. Whereas with the LV, it has the collection cups, the tube, and then the motor itself which it does have a clip on it so you can either clip it to your pants or you could set it in between your breasts whatever you feel like i did want to make that distinct difference because i do think it is a little beneficial to not have the tubes obviously so that just kind of brings me into my opinion my recommendation and stuff like that so i was actually really eager for the willow go just being completely honest i think i was more optimistic with it opposed to the LV stride. However, my expectations with both of them actually ended up kind of flipped and also along with my opinions. I kind of went into the LV stride using it low expectations, didn't really expect to like it too much, didn't think it was going to be anything special, and I ended up really enjoying it, even more than I would say the original LV, and maybe even borderline more than the Willow third generation that I had. I did not expect to like it as much as I did, but I, I truly did, and I thought that for the price point and everything that you were getting with the LV, and as far as how well it worked, I was really happy with it. I had almost no complaints with that review. And then when I tried the Willow Go, I got disappointed pretty quickly. Like I've already mentioned, the short battery life, the short lifespan. I told you guys a while back that I am already weaned, so all the breast pump reviews moving forward, I would not actually be utilizing myself, but I still felt like I had enough knowledge to offer my opinion on all of this because I have had quite some time in the space. And I still tested out the Willow Go to the best of my ability, and I just felt like it fell really short. Also, moving forward with not being able to use it myself, I've been looking more thoroughly at the reviews, and I saw so many reviews that talked about leaking and just problems with the milk storage in general. The Willow Go does have this little spout right here at the top, and people were saying that they were leaking out of there and spilling, and then when people would try to cover it up, even though it's not supposed to be, but just in efforts to try and keep their milk contained, then it would come through the other side and then it would spill onto themselves and on their bodies. That kind of coupled with the fact that this pump doesn't offer a ton, in my opinion, for the price, it is more expensive than the LV Stride and it does have an app, but you can't control it by that. It also has a shorter charge on it. It has a shorter lifespan and it's more expensive. So unless 
unless you know for a fact somehow that you would enjoy this pump more than the LV Stride, I just don't know how I could even begin to recommend anything over the LV Stride. In my opinion, there really is no comparison between the two. The LV Stride does an amazing job. It was super comfortable. I had no problems with leakage or anything like that. Yes, there are tubes, but I did not find that annoying whatsoever. I had no problem placing the motor itself. I just had a really good experience all around with it. Whereas the Willow Go, it was just kind of one disappointing thing after another, which was just a huge bummer. It is an expensive pump, even though it is cheaper than their original version, it's still very expensive. $300 is a lot of money. And with it not being as affordable, and in my opinion, it just doesn't offer as much as the LV Stride in terms of experience and even features in my opinion. It's the LV Stride all the way. I thought about putting this in the review points portion, but I'm not sure about the logistics with all this kind of thing. So I just decided to put it down in this portion, but the LV Stride is meant to be more of an insurance pump. It is their take to be a more covered option. With the original LV and Willow options, it is hardly if ever covered by insurances. And even if it is sometimes, sometimes it's only a portion. So the LV Stride is their kind of take to be more covered, more easily accessible, more budget friendly if you're going to buy it out of pocket. And I feel like they did an excellent job with it. Now the Willow Go, their stab at it is still a pretty expensive pump. It doesn't deliver in a lot of ways. And I just don't know if insurance companies are going to cover it as widely. I don't know if that's their goal as well. This is just all me speculating. I don't know anything for sure. I don't know if the insurance companies will do a far better job at covering the Willow Go versus the Willow. That's why I did want to put it down in this portion because like I said, I'm speculating here. I feel like all around, all things considered, the LV Stride is the best option here, especially if you're going to buy out of pocket. I could not recommend you spend your money on the Willow Go. Your money is much better invested in the LV Stride in my opinion. So that is everything for this comparison. If you guys have any questions, leave it down in the comments below. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, why don't we go ahead and put the green heart emoji down there so I can know that you stuck around the whole time with me. Uh, both of these companies have kind of like that mint green kind of color, which I think is interesting. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching.